Hey guys, what's up? My name is Scott. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're not welcome back. You're just welcomed. So today, as you can see, you you see my hands this is all live, and I'm going to be doing something a little different than what I usually do. Usually, I'll do speed paints, animations, etc. Well, this time, I'm going to be doing a sketch or. I guess, traditional art with a bit of a twist. As you can see here, I have a remote. This remote's kind of cool. It actually controls the color of my lights. If I turn this light off, which is my overhead light, as you can see, it kind of looks bluey. Technically, this is white. I'm not sure why it looks like that on camera, but if, as you can see here, if I press a different color, now it's red, green, and etc. It also has this cool feature where you can have it flash or have it fade around. So if that's the fade, as you can see, it's slowly changing color. So that's kind of cool. This obviously isn't sponsored, by the way. Uh, again, obviously, I wish it was. But if you want to check this out, I will leave the links down below on Amazon. You can find one of these, of these for yourself. It's pretty nice, pretty cheap. So it's good for dorm rooms or stuff like that. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking these, which are color pencils. As you can see, I have them organized pretty well. But uh, let's see what happens when I put a red light over them. And as you can see, it's hard to see. Like, I've, you can still see it a little on the camera, but on my side, it's hard to tell which color is which. But you might be thinking, well, if they're organized from red to purple and then brown and stuff, isn't it still easy to tell? <sighs> I better get a lot of views on this. So I actually decided to go with blue because it is even harder to tell what color is white here. So uh, yeah, this is what it's going to look like to me. So uh, like I can kind of guess like these are both darker colors. So I'm guessing they're either greens or blues. But other than that, unless I look at the label, which I promise I won't because then there'd be no point and you guys would be able to tell. I'm kind of screwed. Um, I can tell the lights from the darks, but that's pretty much it. But there's no really reason for me to keep the blue light on while I'm sketching. So for that, to save my eyes and also to make the video a little better quality, I'm going to keep it as white for now. Like, this is going to be hard. So what I'm going to do for now, I'm going to take all of these and I'm going to put them in a place where I cannot see them. Uh, that way, once I bring them back out, I'll have no idea what I'm doing. So now that I've got these colored pencils, I'm just going to push them to the side for now, and let's work on an actual drawing. After giving it some thought, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw a dragon. Now, I haven't drawn a dragon in a really, really long time. Last time I did it was so-so, so I guess we'll see how this goes. I'm honestly not sure. Maybe it'll be great, maybe it'll be terrible, but whatever it is, it will definitely have interesting coloring. Now, the reason I chose a dragon is because... Well, I feel like dragons can come in a lot of shapes, sizes, and colors, so even if I do choose the wrong colors, it can't look terrible, right? So enough talking, let's just get on with the drawing. Okay, so I guess I have a little bit to talk about with this next minute as you guys watch me draw this dragon. First things first, um, I spent about 40 minutes, maybe 30 minutes drawing and coloring in this dr dragon, so please know this is not my best work. I'm back at college now, and I'm pretty exhausted, but I still want to make content because I have fun with it. I just probably will not be able to post as often, and I definitely won't be able to post as high of quality, which is something I really want to improve on. I feel like my videos have improved in certain situations, especially with audio and maybe editing a little bit, but unfortunately there's only so much I can do since I am a full-time college student. Uh, secondly... Uh, I, I guess to add on to that, I'm back in the dorms now, so I have my own dorm this time, I don't have a roommate, so I should be able to record audio and actually make a few more videos than I did last time, but I'm not really going to promise anything. I can try to post either once a week or once every two weeks, but again, absolutely no promises. Alright, let's... Let's continue on. I gotta say, it goes downhill from here. I want to do something simple because I figured coloring would be the most important part, but oh boy, was I wrong. All right, I finished an outline, and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda hate it. Um, I don't know, I just really don't like it, so I'm hoping, I try to leave it simple for, uh, so I can do a lot of stuff with colored pencils, but honestly, I haven't used colored pencils in years because being an animation major, almost all of my stuff is online. Hopefully it gets better from here because I really don't like it so far. Uh, so let's turn off this main light, turn on my blue light, and then let's bring these in here. This is, this is going to be hard to see for sure. And these cups aren't sorted or anything, it's just because I didn't have a cup big enough for all of my colored pencils. So, 
I'm gonna put these on the side here. Uh, I'm not gonna even tell you what color I think this is gonna end up being because I genuinely don't know. Three, three, two, one. Okay, so I've seen this challenge on TikTok and that's where I got it from. I would credit the original person, but honestly, I don't know who made this trend. So I don't want to just say like just some random person created it because I honestly don't know. Also, I saw the video like a few weeks ago, so I don't think I could even find it if I wanted to. But just to let you guys know, I did find it on TikTok for more videos like this. You can go look it up on TikTok. I don't know the exact hashtag or challenge that it is, but if you're on our TikTok, you'll find it pretty easily. My girlfriend, uh, they got me the lights, so as soon as I realized I had these lights, I wanted to give this a try. Now, if you can see here, I kind of didn't know what I was doing. I, I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. One thing I really struggle with is kind of traditional art because I'm so used to doing digital art, kind of like I mentioned, because I'm an animator. And I want to get better at traditional art, so I probably should have started with this challenge because I learned nothing about color theory or about how color pencils work. But I want to do something a little more fun, especially because my uh, more recent videos have been kind of serious. So when I was picking out these colors, because I didn't know what I was picking out, I was going more for shades rather than color because I knew whatever I chose wouldn't be what I thought it was anyways. But in my head, I was guessing there was going to be red, like a dark red, some lighter orange in there for the skin and then maybe purple for the head and wings which i don't think would have been a bad color combination color was not what i was going for i was just trying to shade this dragon i was also at this point very tired i just want to get this video done with i did not take my time i was sloppy i was unorganized i didn't shade very well and that's on me but i just wanted to do this for fun Obviously, you guys haven't seen the final result, and even though it's like a minute away, I won't spoil it for you. You'll see it when you get there. It's a, There's a reason I called this video a fail. Maybe it's not the worst thing in the world, but oh my god, that was not good. Like, I'm genuinely shocked how bad it was. It kind of looks like a 11-year-old's warrior cat, or OC, or something of the sorts. One thing I guess I will be practicing from now on is colored pencils, how to shade properly, how to use them proper properly, because when I was first starting art, I would like press super hard with the prismas until it almost got like this like soft pastel texture. Everyone thought I was using pastels, and when I told them I was using colored pencils, they were like, bro, like, you, you gotta take it down a notch because you're going to be ruin these, ruining these colored pencils. Traditional art in total is something I just want to get better at. So maybe doing stuff like this or maybe just doing more regular art videos that are traditional, I'll, I'll get a little better and I don't have markers or anything because I'm at college. Maybe I'll have to use this as an excuse. Alright, here's the final result. I finished. I don't know how this turned out. I used a lot of different colors as you can see here. I'm genuinely curious to see what it came out with. It kind of looks black and white on the screen and I can see a little bit more color than that. Like there's definitely a little orange in here. But other than that, I can't see much. Um, I don't like the way this turned out, but maybe the color will make it slightly better. But by the way I colored it, I'm going to guess uh, no. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, um, that actually wasn't what I was expecting, like, at all. Um, I definitely thought this was green. I guess this kind of looks like I thought, but it did not turn out well. This, I don't, uh, I'm, like, genuinely disappointed in this. Like, this is not good artwork. Kind of curious to see what it looks like under different lights, so that's blue. Green, red, uh, oh, that looks really weird under the red. Uh, ooh, that one looks kind of cool. I like the pink. I gotta admit, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, I wouldn't say this is an outright fail like my Spider-Man video from a few years ago, but, uh, yeah, uh, here's a reference for the dragon I drew last time, so that's decently, a little decent, like it's mediocre, so proof that I can kind of draw, but maybe I just was not in it tonight. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, <laughs> hopefully my next video will be better quality, I'm at college now, so I'm just kind of 
exhausted anyway, so I'm going to use that as an excuse. Uh, thank you so much for watching, like, subscribe, blah, 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 all the things that, was you that YouTubers tell you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.